<clears throat> Howdy folks, it's Thursday here. Yes, we are still into it. Uh, I'm gonna provide a link in the description below again where you can sign up for that contest for the uh, CNC router giveaway machine. There are three machines being given away and that will be right up until, I guess February 12th is when the draw will happen for that. And that'll be done by two trees, not me, yeah. But I'm hoping at least one, maybe all three viewers that check out this channel win those CNC machines, that would be awesome. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, a few months back, you know, uh, we did this Steps Tech uh, rotary uh, tool, uh, and it's like, it's a really great kit. It has 420 pieces with that includes collets and everything, so all you need is a Dremel tool, basically, and man, you're good to go, you know, and it's for the price of this thing, it was like, for 420 pieces, I thought it was a terrific deal. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below for that. But I also showed my uh, rotary tool, which is a Dremel that's, that's probably older than a lot of the viewers. <laughs> but, Depstech sent me this. Wow. Let's check this out, huh? Yeah. All right, so first thing we gotta do is open it. I had to get the, all the blood off my knife first. <laughs> so we haven't had this open yet. I have no idea. Wow, of course, you know. So it comes in another a beautiful case. Man, that's, uh, that's gonna make a nice pair. <laughs> and, God, let's get her open. Oh yeah. Oh, and, wow, oh man, there's another pile of uh, kitty parts in here again for, you know, for a <laughs> rotary tool, and a bag full of, looks like sanding discs, and we've got an attachment here that I would assume was probably, what the, oh, this is really wild different, man, and this thing is heavy, it is heavy. What a beautiful machine. Wow. And it has this, uh, let's see if I can get it out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, come on out, buddy. Anyway, it has one of these. Yeah, you know, the old rotary thing where you can, you know, get into it. So, wow. They make, I hate to say it, these people are doing a pretty awesome job of making some pretty darn nice stuff. I guess we got a rotary cut something. Maybe we can, uh, Put this on my CNC machine, duct tape it on there, and that way we can, you know, huh? Uh, no, huh? Uh, I thought it would be a cool idea. Variable speed. It's got a lock up here at the top, maybe, or, yep, yeah, it's a little lock on the, on the top. And uh, trigger underneath, so you can trigger it from below like that with your fingers. Also has some kind of little hanger thing, I guess, so you can <clears throat> hang it on a nail. <clears throat> Or maybe hang it while you're using the, uh, yeah, that extension piece. That is one heck of a kit. Let's check the price. Okay, I'm right back. Uh, it was $39.99, and the features are just absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, it's rated at 200 watt. It shows a rating of 180 watt at the Amazon site for some reason. This is the DM200A. It has six variable speeds, but listen now, 10,000 to 40,000 RPMs, that's, that's insane. And it has another feature that, I guess this is what this is, a, a, yeah, this is must be part of this deal here. It's a keyless chuck. I've never heard of one of these having a keyless chuck before, so, yeah, I guess you could, uh, oh, okay, here it is. Yeah, there's a ring here that you can tighten down to pull the collet tight so that the whole thing will lock instead of using uh, wrenches, you know, like like uh, <clears throat> old Mr. Old School here. <laughs> I don't know what the rating is for RPMs on this, but I've never thought of one of these as hitting 40,000 RPMs. Man, that, that is a lot, that is fast. So let's get out a piece of wood and just I don't know, let's just do something with it. There's a lot of 
cool grinding stones. There's extra call. It's 128 piece, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I, I thought I did. I don't know. And it is like, the, I guess the very first thing you're going to notice, uh, this thing feels like paperweight compared to this. This thing just, you know, it feels like a drill. Like you've picked up a heavy piece of equipment or something. It's got quite a bit of weight to it for the size of it. I'm really surprised, but we definitely have to, um, we're definitely going to have to run this and do something with it. So let's go find a piece of lumber and then uh, just run it and see how it feels. All right, first thing I did was just put one of the fatty drill bits in here that was with the kit, and uh, we'll start her up at high, full high speed, and just see if we, you know, how easy it is to punch through. But very smooth. Let's see. That's definitely a hole in a three-quarter inch piece of plywood pretty quick, I guess. Yeah, let's go find something metal. I've switched out the chuck for a little, this came in the kit too, it's just a little wire brush kind of thing, but I just want to see how it does on this old bolt head here and just see what it can do. Wow, nice. Other accessories included with this, little plastic shield that can go over the end of it so that, you know, you keep help to keep you protected, although you should be wearing, you know, uh, some kind of glass, especially at 40,000 RPMs. That thing could launch something pretty hard and quick. There is a just a pile of different accessories that come with this, plus all the little sandpaper and goodies. And there's even a little wrench. Uh, the keyless chuck thing, I, I don't get it, but you know, there's a wrench that comes with it so you can lock the call it up nice and tight for whatever you know fitting you're using. But for the $39.95, whatever, wow, that is a pretty good little power tool. <laughs> if, if, you, uh, if your Dremel's getting uh, <coughs> old as mine, you might need a new one. <laughs> and this one comes with some accessories. Plus, if you buy yourself into something like this, wow, you got enough. That should last you a lifetime. Well, it depends on what you do, right? Okay. So the big question is, is can we get all this back in the box? But uh, I thought if we could get an end mill bit on that and put it on the uh, one of those uh, CNC router machines, uh, we, could, we could have a nice spindle system out there. <laughs> I do like it, yeah. I like the weight because it is heavy enough that you know it's a solid tool, but also when you run it, it doesn't have a lot of, uh, and there's no vibration really. But, uh, hmm, wow. And for $39.95 or whatever there, I think there's a coupon uh, for a coupon code or something there that you can get a discount with that, so you get it you know, for less than that. So that is a heck of a deal. And uh, we didn't even demonstrate this other, this other attachment right here. But this is, uh, you know, that's that's kind of like your dentist, uh, you know, when you go in there and uh, <coughs> do your teeth with or something. Woo <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I will put descriptions in the link below for, uh, I guess, both the uh, depth tech uh, items. This this one here, which we looked at, 420 piece set, which was really a nice set anyways, and it was a great price. At, it was really a great item at any price because of all the accessories you get with it. This here, uh, again, for that uh, for the money, that's you know that's a great little tool. And handy around the workshop. I, uh, I off camera, I cut a nail off with it, and unfortunately we lost the film, otherwise I was gonna show you that because uh, I also did a nail and a few other little, you know, test things, whatever, but it did a great job and uh, also comes with its own little accessory. So at least a starter kit, I guess we'll call that, compared to that 420 pieces. <laughs> wow, hey, thank you for uh, looking in this week on us at Coffee and Tools, and uh, please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and I guess we're out of here. And uh, wow, what a great item, hmm. over and out. <laughs>